Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we will unbox and take a look at the brand new Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Now in this huge world of smartphones as you have all these options, you have your low grades, your mid ranges, you have your flagship devices. This is sitting in a happy medium, giving you something that is definitely worthwhile at a perfect price point. You also even have with inside of that mid range category, you have the top mid range. This one right here, I'd have to say, is the mid, mid-range device. This one's coming to you with a 6.6 .6 Full HD Plus display with a 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate at a price point of $400. So how about we crack open this box? Let's take a look at the device. We'll take a look at all of the specs and everything that this $400 phone has to offer. I'll also come back with a follow-up video where I'm talking about some of the top features as well as some of the settings to change immediately. And then I'll come back with another video because I will place my SIM card inside of the A35 5G. This will be my daily driver. And then I'll give you my thoughts after seven days. So inside the box is going to be the device itself. Itself. It's all wrapped up all pretty inside of here. Don't forget inside that lid This is where you do have your little user start guide You'll have your sim card popper which this one is able to expand its storage with a micro SD card up to one terabyte So you'll use this to get inside of there And then also you will have your type C to type C charging cable this one supports 25 watt charging so it's not 45 watt but 25 watt is what you get at the price point of $400. So let's take a look at this. The color that we have here, this one is going to be Awesome Navy. Now there is another color that you can grab as well, which is Awesome Lilac, and you will have a glass back along with flat edges. Now, one design feature that I'm in love with with the Galaxy A35 is the raised edge on the right hand side where you have your controls. So your volume rocker, the side key, you'll actually see that it's kind of bumping out there on the top and the bottom. Now, originally when I was holding on to the phone, I thought everything was flat until I had a second look because as I hold on to it, which this is my natural hold on to, my thumb is naturally going right here where this little raised lip is and it feels good, especially when you're just holding on to the device. Now, I don't know if it's just because this is where the controls are. It's just one of their designed things that they wanted to try. I don't know for sure if this is already a part of any other Samsung device inside of the A series or anything else. I mostly use the Galaxy S lineup. I used to use the Note lineup as well as the flips and the folds. So if this is a new design feature from Samsung, I wouldn't be surprised if they started using this on their flagship devices only because it feels great in the hand and it kind of has a alpha like design. It feels really good. And again, I just wanted to share with you, you can actually see it on the box there. Again, I didn't even notice it. I just thought everything was completely flat on the top, left, bottom, and right until I started using it. And then I noticed this natural feel of where your thumb goes with this little raised lip. Now, the only downside about having a glass back is that you do run the risk of having it crack in the front and the back, and it is a fingerprint magnet. But with that stated, I'm pretty sure most people will just throw a case on it. So this way, it's just going to be protected anyways, and all of those things I stated is kind of mute. But I will have to state with the weight, with the size, with this one being a 6.6 .6 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display, I do have to state that this one does feel really good in the hand. This one is also that Infinity O display display so it will have that cutout right there around the camera so it's not the infinity u cut which is usually a little u on the very top i'm not a fan of the infinity u but the infinity o is perfectly fine and a lot of times it just kind of disappears anyways when you're using your phone so as you're looking at the device on the right hand side this is where you have your volume rocker you also have your power key so this one's not going to be the in fingerprint reader you'll actually have your optical fingerprint right there on the screen itself also on the very top this is where you're able to put in your sim card as well as a micro sd card so with the internal storage being at 128 gigs of internal if you need to expand it you can place it right there all the way up to one terabyte 
And then on the left hand side is absolutely nothing. It's completely clean and flat and shiny. On the very bottom, this is where you have your mics as well as the charge port and your speaker. Now, a couple of things I wanted to add in is that this one is being launched with Samsung One UI 6.1 with Android 14. And then when you do take a look at the camera, which I think the camera is gonna be one of the main selling points of this device, not only the screen size as well as the battery life, but inside of here, I was able to take a couple photos. Some of them came out really well but what you can see here is that you can switch it and toggle it between your 12 megapixel and your 50 megapixel sensor. Also, when you take a look at video, if you're curious on some of the shooting modes, you do have the Ultra HD at 30 frames per second, or if you have Full HD, you do have 30 and 60 frames per second. It's now for all of the details, the specs, and information. So the Galaxy A35 5G was launched on April 18th. You can get it at a great price point of $400 on Samsung.com, and currently there is a trade-in program happening where you can get up to $150 for your trade-in, and if you bundle it with the Galaxy Buds FE, you can get the Buds FE FE for 30% off. Now there are two colors of the A35 5G, which is awesome navy and awesome lilac. The internal storage is at 128 gigs of internal with six gigs of RAM. And don't forget, you can expand it with a micro SD card all the way up to one terabyte. Now the battery size is large at 5,000 milliamp hours. You also have the Exynos 1380 octa-core processor. The screen size is 6.6 .6 inch with Full HD plus 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate with a nit brightness of 1000 nits. Now for the cameras, you will have a 13 megapixel front facing camera. And on the back, you have your vertical layout, which is eight megapixel for ultra wide, 50 megapixel for the wide angle and five megapixel for the macro camera. Now, I stated at the very beginning of this video, it does have super fast charging, but it's at 25 watts, and it doesn't have the in-button fingerprint reader, it has the optical fingerprint. Now, if you wanted to compare this to, let's say, the Galaxy A25 5G, maybe you're in the market of looking at that as well, the A35 is slightly larger at 6.6 .6 inch display instead of a 6.5 inch. You also have a better processor and a better macro camera over the A25 5G. Everything else is pretty much the same. So hopefully you guys appreciated the initial video here, the unboxing, the specs, the details, and what you get for $400. This thing is a perfect option for mid-range. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to view more videos on the A35 5G. Again, I will have follow-up videos with this talking about the top features and the settings to change immediately, as well as my use with this phone for having it for an entire week, because this one will be the daily driver. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.